Hi. Uh, good morning. Sorry if uh, uh, HTTP BIS just went out light. Um, so we have a bunch of pull requests. Oh, there's still some people joining. Who else was that? 11. Sarah. Um, so uh, we spent a lot of time last week on uh, 86, uh, which was a bunch of updates from Ned um, that Ned had initiated an update to freshness. Um, I don't want to start with that one um, because I think that maybe uh, there was 86. Uh, I think that maybe we can deal with some of the other pull requests first. Um, I thought that, is there anyone here? Can anyone hear me? Am I talking into the world? Hello? Oh, yep, you're good. Very okay. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, you're all very quiet and muted. Uh, I wondered if 82 could be merged at this point, uh, but Hank seemed to feel strongly against this. Um, in word, minutes um, going up. I, I think I have a little issue with something, but yeah, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> um, so, um, I'm looking for low hanging fruit that um, we can deal with quickly to get them off of there. Um, what about this issue number 77? Um, I suspect none of these are low hanging fruit. Okay. All right. So I'd like to start with this one. Uh, Dave, you had a bunch of complaints about, um, about grammar, which I thought I, damn it. I thought I fixed this one. Oh yeah, here it is. Um, my fix is here about grammar. Um, I don't know if I can get that all on the same screen here. 25 minutes ago. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen anything that's that recent. So, so the fall, you're complaining about this paragraph about the words exemplary following paragraph refers to itself. If I just remove that. Mm -hmm. okay. said, for example, any that both connects to a wide area network and to a system bus is taking both. It's taking on both the attester and verifier roles. So I'll commit this suggestion and then we can go on to the, the core of the content of the of it. Um, yeah, it's certainly not going to be any worse than before. So go ahead and commit the suggestion and re review it. I figure out how to remove that. Cancel. Still get that. Mm -hmm. So uh, basically, it introduces text. Uh, the only change is here at the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think we agreed on the very first thing. So, like, yeah, yeah. what is it? Something is easy, I think. Then, Jabba Jabba, a lot of text. And at some point, Dave had some uh, questions. Local conveyance. Yeah, that's an interesting point. Yeah, I don't think we have to define that. I tried not to define it, but maybe the the quotes might be confusing. Um, so we can just remove the quotes, but there is a there is a not internet protocol using aspect here. So I I try to yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm suggesting we just delete that one sentence that's in the middle there. Uh, unless there's some place that we actually need to use the term local conveyance for something, because I think the other sentences around it, I think, are okay. Yeah, we can remove uh, this conveyance and sometimes. Yeah, okay. This is basically. No. Um, yeah, yeah. It's okay. You're still making your point, Hank, in that you know this type of conveyance is typically found. Blah blah blah. That part is true. Yeah, if there is no uh, benefit to this conveyance, is sometimes referred to which. If you start a sentence this way, probably it's just a afterthought in any case. Um, they can just remove no, it. We're just going to remove this yeah. sentence. Yeah. Boom. I'm suggesting, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. It does not uh, take anything out of the text, basically. 
And sorry for not reviewing your reviews, Dave. That was an oversight <laughs> again. But uh, yeah, believe that's... me, this, this is an awful right now. Is this referring to a composite device example? You're talking about, for example, the, the example in 648. Taking on both the attester and the verifier roles. Which is now my change text, so it may be a little bit less clear. Yeah, yeah so I'm trying to figure out, is this example a composite device example? Right, because this is before the composite device section. I don't think so. This is about multiple... Oh, you think because it has it? Yeah, I don't know. Um, it can be integrated. I think the composite feature is about uh, multiple attested, uh, testing environments. That is not the case here, I think. Can you scroll up a little bit, Michael? It's just about attest and verifier composition. No, I mean, sorry, I want to see 648 down to the rest of that paragraph. Context. Oh, you want me to go this way? Okay. Yeah, I want to see the 648 paragraph, 648 down through 654, yeah. Um, it's not a composite device, I think. Okay. It could be if it's pluggable and, and then there are testing environments, but that's not the point. Okay. Having said all that, mm -hmm. is there further objections to this? Right. Was there more below that? I don't remember. No. Okay. Leave that on the screen for another minute before I say uh, no objection. Reading it one more time. Not now that you've given me an answer, I can read the rest of it to, in that context. Oh yeah, um, decisions have consequences. You say that's true. Um, can someone explain line 654 to me? Line, which one? So again? Alternatively, attestation results might reflect an aggregation of system bus operational state claims in the form of evidence. I'm trying to figure out what that sentence is trying to say. Ah, um... So uh, it's basically uh, uh, based on the um, assertion before. So um, um, if you uh, if you have an attester and a verifier on the same system, but they are fully isolated, they behave like separate entities. Therefore, we are talking about these mm -hmm. functions are merged code-wise; they are not isolated. And um, so uh, now, if you have a uh, um, 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 the thing ahead now. And you're now going with the, oh, my network quality is low, sorry. Um, and, and, and think about the attestation results that are created by that verifier that is also an attester. Yes. Um, then it might have an impact on how the uh, evidence is composed. So this is more on the composed evidence side, I assume. And whose evidence? Its own evidence? Yeah. Yeah, because it's also its own attester. I still didn't follow that. Yeah, this is a fringe case. So may maybe it's more confusing than in illuminating. Uh, would it uh, take anything away from you if we just skip my after 40 also about the citation results? Because it's just a, I think it's an implicit. Um, so you want to just remove the sentence? Extension. Yeah, I mean, you, I would have to add more text to explain this text and then it's a red state, you know. So maybe, maybe just removing it doesn't hurt. <sighs> What, what do you think, Dave? Is that, that okay for you in, just to remove the uh, afterthought? Yes I, think, yes, I think we either need to say more or less, which is the same thing you just said. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't want to say more. I already said enough here, and I think we don't have to make it more complicated. Okay. Um, I still find the paragraph from 649 to 653 a little bit hard to read, um, but it's early in the morning. I don't have a good suggestion as to how to improve it right now. If it's editorial, we I can think, come back to that, I think, right? If I'm understanding your point, then you're saying it's acting as a verifier, 
um, for things on the system bus. You know, so the, uh, if I understand right, you're saying things on the system bus, you might have, say, one thing on the system bus that is a, a, a tester and another thing that's on the system bus that's a relying party, and you're acting as the verifier for the communication between those two devices, or those two things on the system bus. Um, and you're saying completely independent from that, you're acting as an, a tester for things uh, uh, for things you're talking to across the network. Did I get that right? So the, I couldn't follow the, your last. Uh, um, I'm just making statement. sure my understanding is correct. You're saying there's two things going on; they're completely unrelated in, in the scenario. One thing is, it's a device on a network, and it's an a tester uh, across the when it's talking to other devices across the network. Separate from that, there's a system bus inside, and it's acting as a verifier between devices on the system bus. Exactly. So it's, so it's foreshadowing. And it's, and it's evidence role and its verifier role are not really related in that sense, right? So this is it's 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 introducing the concept that 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 yeah. there could be that an, an entity could act in multiple roles in advance of the composite uh, because fully explored connected, exp yeah. composite part. Yeah, and that's an example where it's connected to two separate topologies in some sense, right? A wide area network and a system bus, and each of those is like an independent ecosystem. Yeah. For attestation purposes. Yeah. Correct. And therefore, it occupies oh. different roles, even though it is the same entity. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I have no objection. It, right. It's Let's probably ways point. to improve it, but I'd say there's nothing broken about it right now. So yeah, I'm okay with it. I don't know if anybody else has comments, but um, yeah. thanks yeah. for addressing mine. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, I it has to get rebased before we can uh, merge it. Um, so I'm going to do that. Um, so let's uh, move on to uh, 86, Ned, or freshness. Which would you like to, to deal with? Um, let's, well, uh, let's do freshness. I think that was a simpler one. There were some. <clears throat> so there are two two things uh, going on here. One, one was just some white space uh, was being deleted, and then the other one <clears throat> was replacing uh, that wall of text with uh, sort of three bullet items that summarized the what everybody was talking about. <clears throat> You're dealing, we're talking about 87 here. Uh, I think so. No, or you're not yeah. 86 was your, was your commit about, um, back to request your commit. So 86 implicit trust 82 is what I was <clears throat> thinking of. We're talking about 82. And, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if you want to talk about that one, let's talk about that one then. Yeah. So this <clears throat> this was <clears throat> uh, this was the we had the context was there was a bunch of discussion and uh, Gary provided a wall of text, lots of discussion, and then uh, finally. Uh, my comment, I commented saying, well, it's, it seems like there's just three basic ideas that are being discussed here. I captured that in notes and then said, hey, that, those notes are pretty good. Let's just replace the wall of text with the three bullet points. So that's what I recall. So here. Yeah. <clears throat> so if changes are still there, it should show up. One. See if I can find it. I don't think those. I don't think this was made as a suggestion. I think that's just uh, your your inline comment here. Uh, I thought I I thought I uploaded the changes. Yeah, if you, there was something that Ned did recently because uh, I'm going to have some uh, hopefully minor ish wording suggestions on the the, the text that Ted actually that Ned actually posted. So if you look okay, at so. Changes, Right. Ned committed uh, two commits 15 hours ago. Issue 82. Okay, maybe I need to go to um, I'm not files changed. That's supposed to be the 
Uh, yeah, that is it. Scroll up. Yeah, this is this is the right thing. Okay. Yeah, because this is the the here's the three bullets that came out of that. Right. That okay. Looks like Hank commented on the, some before me, so but, uh, we're getting close. I think on the closer on this one, but uh, there's still a couple burning mods to do. So I'm not seeing the bullets. Uh, one bullet seven oh three is your point number one. And the rest of it is below the. He has to scroll down. Because Hank commented on point That's one. Uh, actually, I commented on some hopefully easy to address things um, as well on point one. Um, let me just say what mine is. Um, I, since I didn't do the suggestion on mine, I think uh, environment. In environment, both of those should have a parenthesis S after the environment. It can be a testing environment because because we later talk about layered and composite and so on. So be a testing environment. Sir, this is what you mean? No, parentheses S. The same thing on the last. Yeah, no, yes, exactly. Because later on, we explain that the uh, evidence could have a uh, layered attestation, in which case you have, or, or it could be for a composite device. In both cases, there can be multiple attesting environments and multiple target environments. So, yeah, that would address my comment. I don't. I didn't see what Hank's was. I didn't read that, but Hank had some comment too. Here. Yeah, I've not read that yet. Oh, and, and above here. Do you want us to talk about that, Hank? Did we lose Hank? No, Hank is still there. Oh, that's why I'm that's why you're all listening to me so well. Okay. Um <laughs> so I think this is very straightforward. So uh, the text says a conveyance protocol that is authenticated and integrity protected. So if I would take this literally, I would say, I don't care if this protocol is authenticated or integ integrity protected. I want evidence to be protected, basically integrity and uh, maybe even obfuscated. And remote peers are hopefully authenticated. So it's not the protocol I'm talking about. And all these attributes are uh, somehow associated with the protocol. But I want authenticated peers. I want protected evidence. And it is, the protocol has to do all this, but the text doesn't say this. But I, but I think that was the point of the discussion was that the the protocol had the protocol had these properties and the um, evidence and so forth had no protections. So the point is, is unprotected evidence with has these properties. That was the point. Yeah, and that is what I wrote. So what I will write is. A convent trail must enable uh, to protect evidence and to authenticate, authenticate the peers involved in the communication or something like that. I don't know. So not just the phrase is just off. That's my only point. I didn't provide a uh, alternative because I was not sure. Maybe we are really talking about an authenticated protocol, but who is the authenticator of the protocol? So I think this is just phrasing, but I'm not 100% sure. So that says I am. I should be sure. I have, question, I have a question here. Um, yeah. You're talking about authenticating peers and protecting evidence. I mean, isn't and and both peers? I mean, the at least at least the peer that you that initiated the channel has to authenticate itself. That is a given in network protocols. So if that is not happening, nothing is happening. And hopefully the other peer also wants to authenticate, but that is actually not necessarily required. Yes, I mean, I don't know. That's that's kind of I'm not understanding this here. Um, and this seems, seems maybe a, like an overreach. I mean, isn't our goal just to protect the evidence as it goes from the attester to the verifier? Yeah. Um, the, the point. I I think the. I don't think the, the existing wording is incorrect. I don't think that was Hank's point. He's just saying you could word it different. There's another, there's another correct way to word it. 
where the focus is on evidence instead of the protocol. But either way, the point is that <clears throat> the, the, the authentication and the integrity protection that's applied to the has to be semantically the same and applied to the evidence in in the context of the roles. In other words, you're authenticating the the authentication of the attester in the protocol is the same as authenticating the attester uh, as of the endpoint. They could be different, but it, it, the point what the what the text is trying to say is that if uh, that if they're the same, then then everything works. The, the Geary's point is valid. <clears throat> so so it's, uh, I'm not quite following all this, and but um, it seems to me uh, that the core goal here of attestation is to protect the evidence, which means. Uh, Kind of authenticate where it came from. I mean, and yeah, kind of yeah. the 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 topic was if I is if I already have a an established secure channel, isn't that good enough? That was that was that be. Jerry's point. Well, that was Jerry's point, and that's why that, that was the motivation for this. So I understand that. Um, um, but the, so the re the requirement is to protect the evidence. And that could be done by signing the evidence as a sort of an ind independent data unit that's going to be trans transported over a protocol that has no particular security characteristics, or it could be done because the protocol um, authenticates itself, I mean, or uh, authenticates the attester in a way that is good enough for the verifier or in, a, in an equivalent way for the verifier. That seems like the, the two choices here. Yes, and that and that that authentication of the 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 attester in the protocol has to be uh, sort of equivalent to what is being done for attestation. So, um, if the key set key setup for that is not sort of in the same way that the attestation key would be set up, then you the, that protocol is not good enough. Well, I I think that's up to the the appraisal policy right so i think in the case some of the cases that jerry's imagined the it's a symmetric sim card type key uh that is used to create the conveyance channel and the uh verifier has fairly high confidence in in it that in its immutability and so the fact that this is a symmetric key channel uh is which would we might think of as weaker is not in this case the, it's not in this case weaker. It's it's maybe stronger from that guy's point of view. Yeah, and the question wasn't symmetric versus asymmetric, and, and I'm trying to think of some examples here, but um, yeah, which I don't have at the moment. But um, seems like that that like it might be a TLS channel, and the the uh, the uh, tester's TLS key is uh, private key is not uh, the same kind of thing you'd expect for. Uh, the setup for it is not the same kind of thing you'd expect. You know, maybe it's that 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 key is put in there by um, a but, but an app but, vendor rather than a. But it's um, not. It's it's not. But Lawrence, it's appraisal policy is what's got to determine that, right? It's not arbitrarily. I just swap one for the other and say it's going to be equivalent. It's no. In this protocol, we are expecting a secure channel, and we're investing implicit trust in that channel because of the characteristics. So it's not. It's not arbitrary, which I think that you're trying to struggle with. I'd like to say, I mean, it seems like we should uh, list some characteristics of that uh, that that key. Um, I I think it's up to the appraisal policy. I would I would agree. I, I, right, as as long as you can kind of tell which version you're doing, are you relying on the conveyance protocol or are you relying on an attestation key? And the appraisal policy can take that into consideration to say, well, which, what does that really mean for trust? I, mean, I can see why the appraisal policy uh, 
is a factor here. I agree with that. Um, I, I guess I need to think think through some examples here um, of uh, how this key kind of key might get set up because the, the intent of the the I mean the, the way that the the key material for that communication protocol may have been set up may have had nothing to do with attestation itself, and it may not serve. Absolutely, but, but that's up to the appraisal policy to 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 find that. That's not. It's not as I said. We're not just swapping things around willy nilly. This is we're simply saying this is an alternate way that a protocol can function and it fits within the architecture. Right, but there's there's some characteristics of uh, maybe some examples or some characteristics of communication protocols that, that some, in some cases that they might not work. Point in, three. Did you read point three? The root of trust protects both the conveyance channel key and the attesting environment with equivalent strength protections. Yeah, that's not working for me. But also because it has the word root of trust in it, and I never know what that means. But um, the, okay, I, I, welcome to 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 wordsmith that. The uh, the if you look at line six ninety eight it just it uses it there so this is using it in the same context of what's already there. All right, I guess I I'll think about it and see if I can see if I can come up with a better example or or wording or something. But let me just throw out that my, I'm, not coming up, I'm not coming up with off the top of my head here. So let me just throw out that my main concern would be that I don't want to put into the architecture a requirement that has to you know satisfy you must do it this way as opposed to yeah i'm not saying that i'm just trying to get get some general guidance characteristics of of uh, key key material that that definitely works key material that doesn't work um setups that that, that, work, that work and some setups that don't work just get some uh, sort of uh, calibration or some sense of what that what's going on there so these <clears throat> The, the the text that's provided talks about what works and ignores text about what doesn't work. <clears throat> but if you can come up with text about what doesn't work, then you know that's fine too. <clears throat> In like equivalent strength protection, that's another phrase that's kind of hard to say and when you don't I don't know what they all right, all right. I I'll I'll look at it and see if I can come up with anything. All right. Okay, maybe uh, maybe ask your co-author uh, what was his intent here. Uh, I think it is all about the uh, conveyance of each. I think that is a good example for you internally, and maybe uh, you can you can converge on that topic and find out um, and what was the intent here, because I assume it's about the secure channel setup. And uh, of course, keys has to manage in a in a meaningful way. And but that is probably again, as we just established, uh, appraisal policy's decision if that is meaningful to it, uh, the verified mean. Uh, and therefore, uh, um, working out some text that is non -ok not okay might be helpful here as as uh, illustrative uh, expositional text. I want to push this button. We haven't gotten yeah. to the comments yet. Okay. The comments on the we had. No, okay. we haven't. I thought we had gotten through them. Um, uh, on point two. Um, yeah. So I uh, there point two. I just added that after we did after you did your. Uh, <laughs> Parentheses S, we need to make a similar point two has the same issue as point one, right? When it talks about uh, the attesting environment. And so I, I don't know what the right way to rephrase this one is. Um, is it a testing environment? Parentheses S, I don't know if that's, is that correct? Um, now it says the evidence in the conveyance channel is supplied by attesting environments. Right now, evidence is by definition supplied by attesting environments, right? And so what is this point, I was trying to recollect what was point number two actually intending to be about, because right now it sounds like, well, that's always true by definition, isn't it? So how is it a constraint? Is So that's why I'm figuring there probably needs to be some wordsmith to, you know, when would this not be true? Uh, I guess it, it might not be true in situations where uh, the, the conveyance channel is opened by an entity and then is then uh, takes uh, data from other places because this conveyance channel maybe has other purposes as well. Um, uh, I think and... you're exactly right. I think we need to have make sure that the text says that because I when I read it this morning, um, it did the text didn't say that to me. But I think your point is exactly right. And we need to say it 
meaning I think that's what Ned was trying to capture when I read it the first time, and I said, "Hey, I agree with his articulation," um, but I'm reading well, it now. We write, yeah, the conveyance channel mm -hmm. is. Uh, I, I'm not sure if I want to say is used exclusively for conveying evidence, or no. The point was. Your point was that it could be used for other things. Uh, yes. But this is saying that if that's the case, then then bullet two applies. Uh, if the conveyance channel has multiple purposes, then all evidence comes is supplied by the testing environment. Evidence is always supplied by the testing environment. The evidence is exclusively supplied by the. Evidence is defined as being the claim supplied by a testing environment, right? So that's never not true, right? Evidence can't be supplied by anything other than a testing environment by definition of. Well, of since it's not signed, right? Um, okay. Yes. Then the point is that that if if like I'm imagining something like a, you know, I was just on the HTTP this call, you know, imagining something like the results of of different web endpoints sending data in a single channel like quick right and so it's quite possible for things to come from different places and for some of them to tend to be evidence when they're not so in the case of an attesting environment the attesting environment is the endpoint We've defined it in such a way that the key that signs the evidence is also controlled by the attesting environment. So what we want to say is that the attesting environment is exclusively in control of the channel. Yeah, something like that. Um, it's an endpoint. It's yes, an endpoint I agree question, with right? <clears throat> I agree with the intent. I'm trying to find wording that does not um, exclude the notion of layered attestation or perhaps a composite device where there's multiple testing environments, but there's still uh, like in the layered in one, there's still one at the bottom, right? That's the one that in, in the layered attestation case, you're talking about the one at the bottom, right? The one that signs the other ones, right? In the mm -hmm. composite device, I suspect you're talking about the lead attester, but I'm not sure because I'm not the expert on the composite one. But I do know enough about the layered one that I want to make sure it's not... Um, uh, Excluding layered attestation so, here. So if we had a layered, uh, uh, well, I'm not sure. I'm so going to come layered, back there for a composite in. environment that the that the outer connection upwards to the verifier could yep. be an, an, a channel, but that any evidence that was um, from other in testing environments that was conveyed would have to have explicit signatures. Right. In the layered attestation, you have explicit signatures for everything except for the bottom one, as the bottom one is the only one that could be possibly unsigned this would be applying to. But we haven't defined yes. layered attestation here, so I'm trying to find a uh, a definition that actually makes sense if you were to go back to it after the other section without having to uh, you know break into that discussion now. Right. Right. Uh, it, uh, so when you say the bottom one, you're talking about the root, or you're talking about the uh, leaf that has the control of the channel? In the diagram of layered attestation, it would be the one that is A, which is, you know, say the one that's in, you know, ROM or whatever it is, right? And, but in the context of this case, the channel is probably the thing that's at, at you know, C, ah. right? Ah, okay. No, I think you're right, Ned. I, I, I didn't realize that. You're probably right. And so um, maybe that, because I'm trying to figure out what's the technical point here. The technical point might be um, as long as it's... Uh, as long as the channel is tied to any one of the uh, attesting environments, it might be okay. Is that true? In layered, it's true because they're they're attained. In composite device, it's the lead attester. I think that is yeah. true. They are basically a team. They, re they rely on each other. If, if it's not possible to rely on that, then why even trust the whole layered thing? So yes, I think a subordinate would be okay. All right, so I've just written this text. All unprotected evidence that is conveyed is supplied exclusively by the testing environment uh, with the controlling key. Um, 
Maybe that's I, too complicated now. I, yeah, I think the with the key stuff is fun to leave for point three. Um, but the attesting environment is a problematic phrase because it implies there's only one. Where later on we say, and eh, it's not just one. Well, that's what I was trying. That's that's what the width was about, right? It's it's that's oh, what I see what you mean. Right. That's the point. The point is that there are other testing environments, but they don't control this channel key, and therefore they're at, they can't send unprotected evidence. They have to no, send I, protected evidence. I get your point. I had uh, misread the phrase as uh, the preposition applying to a different point in the sentence. Uh, uh, well, then we should make it clear. So by the uh, test environment, you're saying that, that has, yeah. by saying controlling a testing environment, you're trying to say the controlling a testing environment, right? Well, maybe the controlling. Uh, what was you don't know what you control here. So it controls yeah. the channel. It controls the channel. Control is probably not the right word. What was point one again? Uh, can you scroll up just a little bit so I can compare the phrasing in point one in your edited version of point one? Um, no, your edited your version. Edited, yeah. Edited version. Yeah. The key protect. So not controlled, but protected. The, the key that protects the conveyance channel. So it's the testing environment. Your, so your point which I had misread the grammar on, um, was uh, a testing environment with the key that protects the conveyance channel, right? That would be the equivalent to what you typed before. Um, and then I'll explain what I, how I misread that with the key that, not, that protects the channel, not controls the channel. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. And that protects the channel. Oh, the... Okay, so the way that I had misread this before was um, that with applies to uh, uh, like conveyed or, or supplied. So I read it as um, um, all unprotected evidence that's conveyed is supplied exclusively by the investing environment, along with the key that protects the conveyance channel, which is, of course, not the intent, right? Right. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, and so you're trying to do it by way of constraint on which attesting environment. So uh, that's why that has instead of with would be correct. Uh, so, but you're suggesting we could say we could put this uh, on the evidence, all unprotected evidence. Uh, they, no, no, no. I'd say I did it. Supply that would be wrong. I'd say I had re I had read it that it was attached there, and that's why I had a problem with it. It's, this is the you're, current wording. I don't have a problem with. Current wording says what we intended, right? Um, except for with can be misread. I would, so first, if you change with to that has, um, it, ha it is unambiguous that it has Michael's meaning. And now the only possible way to wordsmith it better is because that appears twice in the sentence. And it would be nice to get rid of one of those, but uh, actually three times in the sentence. And protecting. This work? Yeah, well, yes, but that wasn't the that I was referring to. Um, now I'm basically, uh, it, it's good enough right now, but the, but um, let me just emphasize which words I'd say. If somebody had an improvement suggestion, that it would be fine. You can say that's, using the key instead of. That's the, that, the that one that Michael key. just highlighted. So it's in there three times now. Yeah. So it was the first what? that. It was the first. So saying that. that has, you can say using the key. <clears throat> so here you want this to say using. No, I think that goes back to having the same problem as with did. It's applied using. So I think it's other than the fact that that appears three times, it is actually correct and unambiguous right now. And so I would commit your suggestion first. Okay. And if somebody can find a way to get rid of um, uh, the fact that it has three that's in the sentence without going <clears throat> ambiguous, that would be fine. But I can live with it the way it is. All right. So now we're back to here. Um, I had okay. one other question at the very bottom, which is a non-technical question. If oh. you expand the load diff on the very bottom, there's a new file introduced in this commit. Yeah, I, I, I and just I sort had not of seen went. this before. I, I don't know what this. I, is I don't know what this is either. Yeah, is either. <laughs> I didn't. You probably I don't think you're doing that, commit so. all. I think you've been doing commit alls rather than. 
Okay. Now I'm okay with it. Hank, what about what about your comment? Your comment remains. The rest of it's are white spaces. How many what is meant here? Is white spaces. What? So I will just if everybody understands what the sentence is meaning, so that the protocol is not authenticated but provides authentication to the remote of remote peers and is integrally protecting the content and other content. It's like a weird sentence again. But if everybody thinks that's okay, we can do it in the polished path later. That, that's just editorial, I assume. Yeah, we, we didn't say it was private. Yeah. Evidence is protected. Remote peers are mutually authenticated. Yeah, so authenticated and integrity protected. Uh, yeah, but, but what? Not the protocol. The protocol is authenticated. So, so you, you might like it if we put the word mutually authenticated, but I'm not sure it needs to be no. mutually authenticated. It needs to be... It needs to be, uh, the client needs to authenticate. It needs to be client authenticated. Protocol not is, but provides authentication. It enables yeah, mutual mutual authentication not seems not like a whole can of worms we don't want to go into. Yeah, okay. So, so I understand Hank is suggesting a conveyance protocol that provides authentication and integrity protection. The evidence, yes. And then I'm fine. Yeah, that sounds okay. Yeah. And then I'm fine. It's just that. It's just because it is basically the authenticated points at the wrong uh, subject. That's fine. Provides authentication. Authentication and integrity protection. And then Hankin's suggestion of the evidence. I don't see the rest of the sentence. I don't, I hope it makes sense. I don't know if uh, <laughs> I don't know if of the evidence is necessary, but that is what Hank said a second ago. But the, I think, uh, yeah, the I don't think you need of the evidence because the next phrase is to convey unprotected evidence. Right. Yeah. Okay. See, that, that's that's no problem. See yeah, the yeah. Rest. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so does that address your concern, Hank? Yes, that's it. Thank you. Okay. I think it wasn't the big thing. Uh, it was just like the sentence was rubbing me the wrong way. Yeah, because you're saying you're not authenticating the protocol; you're authenticating the endpoint. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Who's yeah, authenticating yeah. protocols anyway? So that's not that's not makes yeah. sense literally. Okay. So now can we merge this one? Uh, I, I marked it as approved now that we've addressed my comments. So. Yeah, if you're okay with one key and not, so, and we could say instead of keys in point one, we could say key material, and therefore it's more ambiguous uh, if it's one or more keys, we don't know. Here, there's the one, uh, the, the key used. We could also the key material. Uh, I'm okay with that. The one key. Yeah, and then, then that's just, just by that tiny addition. Yeah. It's, it's already okay. Then you don't know, then that's ambiguous as to whether it's one symmetric key or two asymmetric keys or some other more complicated exactly. thing like asymmetric used uh -huh. to generate a symmetric or whatever. So, yeah, I think that's fine. Do we use key in the other? Uh, in point three. Yeah, Actually, three. Point two and three. Yeah, two and three. You're right. You want to make the same. Thank you, Ned. Here, channel key material. And then, yeah, and then same thing in point two, key material. All right. I'm fine. I'm fine. Ned, let's chalk. Well, you want to go on to freshness, or do you think we can make progress on this 86? Um, I would start 86 at the bottom, because basically the whole point of that was to create a new section and um, moved, moving, a, moving a section around and putting a title to it. So this, this is the main point. And then, so is this section is this section now um, butting against what we just committed from Hank? Yeah, we talked about roles. 
Yeah. So remember, we did, we said after Hank did made some, some commit, some commits to the pre to the other one, I would do this one. So I think, uh, I think the point was we needed the sections, created the section and took text from, from I think 77 or whatever that one was and put it here. So whatever, if the, if the other one has evolved since then, then it's probably evolved away from this yeah. wall of text. So, <clears throat> so I would say, you know, commit the, try to try to, I don't, you know, commit something and then try and bring, bring the, bring the, uh, the, 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 the threads closer together. But we spent a lot of time on, on the definitions above, which were basically just intended as sort of cleanup in order to make this other paragraph in order for the other things to not uh, be, you know. What you'd like to do is, is is commit this so that we can get all the updates that were good. Recognize that the wall of text at the bottom is uh, overlaps with what Hank, what we just committed with from Hank. And then, and then essentially, um, we, why does it say closed? Closed. Say closed. Oh, okay. I didn't close it that I remember. Um, we can still commit it. Um, it says you closed it 26 minutes ago. Okay. Well, I guess I did. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Did, did we merge it anymore? So I no, I don't think it's ready to be merged. Uh, it should be fixed up in this uh, branch before being merged. Seems like we should rebase it then. That's basically what I'm saying. I think the next step is to rebase this one. Uh, closed, but I want to reopen it. Why can't I reopen it? Um, I don't know. At the bottom it says to reopen pull request and it's grayed out. I wonder if I can reopen it. Um, this pull request is closed. Huh, I don't know. That says the role oh, you know what? branch has been deleted. That's why. Oh, you know what? I've Okay. Okay. No, I did merge. Okay. Well, I to undelete the oral composition branch. Uh, on the hang on here. It's it's okay. It's it's okay. So I have that freaking. So, oral um, so I'm confused because I believe I I merged this manually. Uh, I believe I just merged this manually. And that's what made me delete the branch because you'd like to delete the branch afterwards. I meant to merge Hank's Hank's thing, and I think I merged this instead, or maybe they're the same. Uh, maybe they were a branch off of a branch. Oh, this one is a branch out. This is a yeah. This is not merging into master i eighty six, right? This is from issue fifty five to all composition, but the branch it's merging into has been deleted. So I think yeah. So I think the next thing is to rebase it off of master. Yeah. Now, you have to rebase this one off of master. Right now, it's based off of raw Run composition, that. but you have to rebase it off Run of master. We lost, we lost three PRs, so three PRs are closed simultaneously here. This was oh. the, the, yeah, yeah, the, I merged. What, I merged. I merged seventy-seven manually. Yep. Which was also on the roll composition branch. Um, and now we have this issue 55 branch, um, a, which uh, that was, right. if you look at the very that top was based of off the of the role composition screen, branch, correct. You see at the top of the screen where it says Ned Smith wants to merge five commits into role composition from issue 55, right next to the closed, yes. closed. Okay. Uh, so, so I have the role to rebase to say, wants to merge five commits into master from issue 55. Once that is done, then this will be reopened. Okay. So I will do that. I will do that, okay? Uh, all right, do you want to talk about freshness in the then while I do that?
Okay. Uh, these are Hank's changes. Yes. This looks. This looks. Um, in the ah, sorry, that's me. I should uh, zoom out again. There's a there's a new definition for recentness. Yeah, there's a number of things in here that I didn't like. Um, I saw that Hank responded to or commented on one of them. And it looks like Thomas had a bunch of comments on this one separately from unrelated to mine. Uh, do we have Tom? Yeah, King Thomas, you're on the call today. Uh, yep. So, Thomas, did you want to talk about uh, your one of your issues on this one? Uh, you want to take some time? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, yeah, but maybe maybe better to to, to address it as a meta comment. So, if we really, my, my point is that we really, really need two subterms um, to specify what freshness means, then then uh, we probably need to make them to make sense in, in a non-ambiguous way, right? Otherwise we're screwed. Um, so apparently, Hank and I can't reach an agreement on, on, on these two subterms, which are recentness and uniqueness um, related to, to freshness. And, and, I, and I think we managed to drive the conversation to, to, to a dead end by now. So, so unless someone else jumps in and resolves the, the conundrum, uh, I suggest we, we forget about this PR and, and just leave with one true freshness. You know, uh, independent of there is no one true freshness. First of all, categorizing true evidence, attestation, rather than adjustments. There are different types of freshness. Mm -hmm. and then we are, if we talk about evidence only here, which is not enough, uh, as I think that was pointed out. Um, we have multiple uh, solutions out there, and they have different types of freshness. So we cannot talk about freshness in the architecture at all if you want to have the freshness defined by the solution. So either we prune freshness from the architecture entirely. Or, and then we have the solutions to talk about it, or we have a uh, relatively stable basis here. I think these are the only viable options. Well, uh, <laughs> on one point, uh, I, I agree with uh, Thomas, which is I think some of the content in this PR um, I think is uh, probably more than what I would want in the architecture document. You see, one of my uh, points is also on the screen or whatever uh, around uniqueness and things. I didn't see why that needed to be in this document. Um, so, uh, saying less here is okay. I mean, there's already some discussion of freshness in the document right now. Um, right now, my opinion is, I think the balance of what's in the document right now is fine. Um, I'm not necessarily opposed to adding more, but I want there to be a good justification. I haven't seen the good justification yet. And so, I'm trying to be open, uh, but I didn't see that, the, that this was necessary. And if we uh, don't merge this one, I'm okay with that, but I'm not sure which problem we're trying to solve with this one. That's why I said I'm open to discussion, so. <clears throat> uh, to, to motivate my, my, my pull request in the first place, maybe I should have brought a small <laughs> sentence to bring this up. There be, uh, three different kinds of basic interaction models here, which is a uh, thing based, uh, to, to quote Thomas, uh, recentness based on uniqueness, which is the challenge response thing that uses a nonce, a value that is unique. No, 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 you I, I, no, no. Wait, 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 think It's not recentness based on uniqueness, but it's freshness based on uniqueness for me. And then you have freshness based sorry, on recentness. Yes. Well, uh, 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 up. I'm very sorry for that. And you're yes. correct. Mm -hmm. so we have this uh, freshness based on uniqueness, as Thomas would call it, uh, that is the, uh, ve the, the unique value. Uh, we call it a nonce in cryptography, cryptography, but uh, you can basically call it a unique thing that you handshake here. Um, then we have uh, the, all the synchronized time-based stuff that does not need it, and therefore does not provide you uniqueness. Which is a very necessary thing for one solution, but is super unnecessary for the other solution. But we already have text in the document that talks about both of those two things. We already talk about the time-based stuff and the nonce-based stuff in the appendix right now. Yeah, in the appendix. So basically, uh, just uh, afterthought and might and, and, and illustrative. Uh, you have to have an understanding for for more than that that you can base stuff on. And I think it's very really important to understand that freshness has two characteristics here. Uh, and typically, what you sub everybody is talking about nonce and is thinking uniqueness, but it is actually for attestation the recentness is the interesting part. Uniqueness you can uh, always eliminate by 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 state if you get the same thing again. 
you should start to get suspicious. So state can solve your uniqueness problem, but sometimes you don't have state. So uniqueness is very important to the quality of evidence. And that is what I'm trying to, to establish here. It's just a fundamental point of reference how evidence characteristics are retained, even if you have uh, small solutions or big solutions. And I think that is what an architecture is for in general. It helps you to build a solution. If you with, with uh, prone to error, then you fail with creating solutions from an architecture. And that is the only reason why I pulled it in here. Because uh, if you leave that to another document, um, yeah, well, it could be the interaction model in theory. So we could uh, then again remove the concept entirely because it's not up to the architecture anymore. That's my point. I mean, we're about out of time. Like I said, right now, my opinion is the text in the document right now tries to strike the right balance, meaning there's a freshness section in the main body. There's an elaboration in the uh, appendix, which talks about both nonces and timestamps as two different ways to do things. As in the appendix, because those are starting to bleed into mechanism, more like the interaction model stuff. Um, I'm also noting that we're about out of time because it's eight o'clock right now. Um, and I don't know where we're at with the one that Michael was trying to rebase, but I don't know if this is a good place to uh, pause and pick up again next week. I think so. Um, so I, I did manage to rebase it, but I had to open a new issue. It's 89. Um, and uh, it has both Hank and Ned's rewrite of the roles because I that was a merge conflict. So I put mm -hmm. them both in for now and we'll pick one. Um, and then there's some other text that is needlessly different. <laughs> All right, so let's review that. Uh, and some of it just wrapped it. differently and I'll try to make them wrap the same. But then all the definitions are very clear. The changes to the definitions are very clear. Okay, so let's, so then how about we review that offline and come back to it next week? That's what I, I would agree. Uh, I'm going to have to repeat my comments in this one that were previously in the other one because you just copied in the wall of text, not the comments. So anyway, I, couldn't, I, I, I yeah, yeah, uh, that's okay. Well, I don't think, I don't think there were many comments that you had that weren't already resolved in the other, yeah, in the, the other, other issue. So for example, in the Ned text, it reintroduces. Okay. All right. I'll, I will, I will let you, I, I'll let you do that. Okay. And I, I, um, there's, there's Hank text and Ned text. And so you may actually just prefer that what we just, we did it at the beginning of the hour anyway, so you may just vote against the revised text. Gotcha, because you're saying there's two different variations that have not been merged. And I, and I put them both in. Gotcha. Right. Okay. So the intent is to not merge it as is because there's two alternatives and we need to pick one or merge them. Yeah. Okay, got That's it. right. Okay. All right, it's talk great. to you next week. Bye. Right. <clears throat> okay, thanks. Yep. Bye.